it's a A and a M. Am. That is am. That is A and M. That am A and M. That am A and M video. <laughs> If you're into fun and you love to play, if you like funny jokes that put you away, if you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around, and if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool, ooh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Lamb Chops, play along with kids come to play along in fun things and all we ever do. Yeah, it's Lamb Chops. Join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. Make a muscle, squeeze it tight. Really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm. Let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles left and right. Come on and pump it up. Out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. Now let's go back to this song. Lamb chops, play along. With kids come to play along. And fun things are all we ever do. Yeah, it's lamb chops, play along. Join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Yeah, and especially you. Now you may ask, why is this person standing there with a cuscus on her shoulder? Well, if you could have a cuscus on your shoulder, wouldn't you? Yes, yes, yes! This cuscus, sometimes known as a couscous, comes from New Guinea, which is a bunch of islands right off of the coast of Australia. Actually, this particular cuscus couscous um, is called Claire, and she's now living at the San Diego Zoo. And she is a marsupial, which means she has a pouch. And she also has a prehensile tail that has a grip on my arm that is so strong that I literally am going to need help in getting my hand free from this lovely grip. You know why? She lives in a tree. Now, the people from the San Diego Zoo were down collecting animals in New Guinea in the jungles. They came upon a village. The village was full of natives who were about to cook Claire, the couscous, couscous. And so um, they paid $26 and they bought Claire and they brought her back to the San Diego Zoo and I'm glad they did. I just wish that Claire had been here to play that animal game with us that we played the other day. Do you remember? Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> Everybody listen, listen now If you don't, what you'll be missing Oh, wow My friends, we're gonna play a game called It Ain't Gonna Rain No More <gasps> You don't know how to play It Ain't Gonna Rain No More? You mean you never have played that game before Called It Ain't Gonna Rain No More It goes, It Ain't Gonna Rain No More No More Ain't Gonna Rain No More how in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Everybody sitting in this crowd You sing what I sang, sing it good and loud Just sing it ain't gonna rain no more, no more Ain't gonna rain no more How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Okay, now Brian, you're first you see, this is an animal game, and Charlie Horse has to do a funny song about whatever is Brian's favorite animal. What's your favorite animal? Cow! Charlie Horse, a cow! You think you can do it? No. I think he can. The farmer had a nervous cow. The cow was in an earthquake. Every time he milks her now, the cow gives him a milkshake. Moo, two, three, see. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. Ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Okay, Talia, what's your favorite animal? A bird! A bird? Every winter, birds fly south. I've heard them talk. They say the reason birds fly south is it's much too far to walk. Squawk, two, three, say it ain't gonna rain no more, no more. Ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck 
If it ain't gonna rain no more. That's great. You gotta teach me how to do that. Kevin, what is your favorite animal? A bee. A bee, Charlie. A buzzing bee's a busy friend. Careful of his stinger. One day he sat up on his end and he stung his own humdinger. Ouch, what a grouch. Say, it ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Oh, Brian, you are so lucky. You get to pick another favorite animal. What's another favorite? E.T. E.T.'s eyes are always big, but now they're bigger still. You know how he's been phoning home? Well, he just got the bill. Ring-a-ding-a-ding, -a -ding, say, it ain't gonna rain no more, no more. Ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Okay, Rachel, it's your turn. What's your favorite animal? Uh, a snake. That's my favorite, too. I'm gonna do it, Charlie. Do it, do it. The snake has made a brand new friend, and he seems to be delighted. But he's talking to his other end. Oh, boy, is he nearsighted. Bing, two, three, <laughs> sing. It yeah, ain't gonna rain no more, no more. Ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. I'd like it fine if the sun would shine. It's supposed to storm, but it's awful warm. I don't know if it's gonna snow, but, but it, it ain't, ain't gonna, gonna rain no more. No more! I got, I got a magic trick that I'm gonna show you, you know, and it's magic, and it's a trick, like... Like your father used to show you magic tricks, you know? Yeah. And when you see it, you're gonna go, Woo! Wow, is that some... All right, stop already. Show me the magic trick. Okay, it starts like all the magic tricks. What do you mean? Pick a card. Oh, you want me to pick a card? What? Is there an echo in here? Yeah, pick a card. Okay. I'll pick a card. Any card? Any card. Okay, look at it. Okay. Don't show it to me. All right, I'm not gonna show it to you. Show it to them. I'll show it to them. All right. Now, do you remember the name of your card? I do. Whisper the name of the card into my ear. It's the Nine of Diamonds. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Nine of Diamonds! Yeah, but I, I told it to you. Of course. How was I supposed to know? Uh, it's a very good trick, honey. Um, just don't show it to anybody else. You didn't like it? I, I really liked it. How'd you like to play a card game with me? It, I'm not good at card games. You'll like this one. Really? Uh-huh. Of course, you lose a lot. Oh, that does sound like fun. <laughs> yeah, you lose a lot, but it's, it's fun to play anyway. What do you do? Well, you name all of the cards in sequence. What does that mean? Sequence. You know, the cards come in the deck, and there's ace. What's ace? Look. One. Yes, ace. Or it's thumb. No, it's not thumb. Ace is one. So it's ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, queen, king. That sequence? Good girl. That's the sequence that cards come in. So that's what you say. And each time you say a card in sequence, you turn over one card. Why? Because the aim of the game is never, ever, to say the name of a card and at the same time turn over a card of that number. I, I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to start with ace. Which means thumb. No, one. Oh, yeah, ace is one. One, right. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to say ace, and I hope it's not an ace. I hope, I hope. Ace! Oh, but it's a queen! That means you're winning! Yes, I'm winning. Now I'm going to say two, and I hope it's not a two. Two! Good, it's a five. I'm going to turn over the next, say three. Three! It's an ace. Good! Yay! Is that what an ace looks like? Yeah. I'm going to say four. Turn it over. Four! It's a king. Good! I'm going to say five. Five! Ooh, close. It's a four. Now I'm going to say six. Six! And it's a two. Boy, you're winning a lot. A lot. This is fun. Now I'm going to say seven. Seven! Oh, darn. It's a seven. That means I lose. So what? So that means I'm out of the game. And now what happens? Now it's your turn. You mean I, I get to turn over cards and say numbers? That's right. 
I'm not gonna be very good at this game. Sweetheart, it's a game of chance. Oh, and there's hope for me. <laughs> there's hope for you. Mm, you too. If you are into silly games, here's a game for you. And if you watch me closely and do everything I do, I'll bet you make the simple statement I have often made. Hey, that's about the silliest game I have ever played. Put your hands in front of you and move them just like me. If a friend should ask you, hey, what's that supposed to be? Tell them that it's something that they do in Paris, France. You're very busy teaching some ants how to dance. Step, kick, step, kick, spin around and do a split. Isn't this the nuttiest game that you have ever played? Put your hands in front of you and move them just like me. If a friend should ask you, hey, what's that supposed to be? Tell her that you're quite surprised she doesn't understand. You're busy now conducting a grasshopper band. Louder! Softer. Isn't this the nuttiest game that you have ever played? <laughs> Put your hands in front of you and move them just like me. If a friend should ask you, hey, what's that supposed to be? Explain you're in the middle and you really shouldn't stop. You're very busy teaching a worm how to hop. Hip, hip, hop, hop. Ooh, oh, sorry. Isn't this the nuttiest game that you have ever played? Put your hands in front of you and move them just like me. If a friend should ask you, hey, what's that supposed to be? Tell them what you're doing might sound very weird to him. You're very busy teaching a fly how to swim. Kick, glide, kick, glide. Isn't this the nuttiest game that you have ever played? Raise your hands and wiggle your fingers just the same as me. If a friend should ask you, hey, what's that supposed to be? Keep your fingers moving and just watch the way she'll stare. When you explain you're having fun tickling the air. Coochie, coochie, coo! Coochie, coochie, coo! Isn't this the nuttiest game that you have ever played? Tilt your head, start blowing up just the same as me. If a friend should ask you, hey, what's that supposed to be? Say it's hard, but if he'd like to join in, well, he may. And tell him that you're trying to blow the clouds away. <laughs> if you like these silly games, I'll tell you honestly, you're the weirdest person that I know after me. I wish we could play this game with you, but we're just going to play it for you. And then when we have played it, they can play it, can't they? Yeah. Selena and I haven't really played it yet, so she's not quite sure how we play, so I can explain it to both of you at the same time, to you and to you. It's called Cross Country. If you have a map and two buttons, one button, two buttons, the buttons have to be different, one from another, and a coin, you got a game. It's nice to have a pen, too. You see what I did? I circled all the cities from one coast, the big, big cities, from one coast, right across the country to the other coast. I circled Sacramento, um, Salt Lake City, Denver, Topeka, Kansas, St. Louis, Nashville, Tennessee, Atlanta, and down to Miami, Florida, where we can rest after our long trip. Now, Selena, would you like to make a road, draw a road connecting those cities? Go ahead. That's one road. And now Salt Lake City is being connected to Denver. And now Denver is being connected to Topeka, Kansas. To Topeka, Kansas to St. Louis. St. Louis to Nashville. I'm exhausted. Nashville to Atlanta. And from Atlanta to my vacation in Miami, Florida. Thank you very much. Now, you have a road. And both of our cars... Oh, Selena, do you want the little car or the big car? Mm, the little. You want the little one? Okay, Selena has the little car. And I have the big car. Both of our cars are starting right at the beginning of the road in Sacramento, California. Now, we're going to throw up a coin. And if the coin lands tails up, then your car can move one city. If your coin lands heads up, your car can go beep, beep, two cities. And if your coin rolls off the table, your car has to go back one city. You want to go first? Here, toss the coin right onto the, to the map. Oh, it came out tails. So you get to move your car 
One city. My turn. It came out tails, so we're both in Salt Lake City, Utah. You go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Heads. Heads. You get two cities. Oh! Okay, here I go. Heads, I got heads, too. I got heads, too. One, two. Okay, your turn. You go. Tails. Tails, one city. It's nice. This is a tale of one city or two cities. I get heads. Ha, ha, ha. One, two. I'm in Nashville. I'm in Nashville. Okay, go ahead. You got heads, so you move um. one, two. Oh, she jumped me. I got heads. I jump you. Boop. And I arrived in Miami first. I am the winner. <laughs> but we both had fun, so we're both the winner. Have fun. I like it, I like it, I like it. Ooh. I have two little birds. You don't see them? Yes, you do. There they are. Here's Jack, and here's Jill. You got two little birds? Can I see them? Yours are cute. I like them. Mine are on a hill. These are the hill. See the hill? And if you've got that, you can say, fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Want to play? Come on. There were two little birds sat on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. There were two little birds sat on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Two little birds, and one of them said, Why don't we sing about five in a bed? There were five in a bed, and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were four in a bed, and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were three in a bed, and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were two in a bed, and the little one said, Move over, move over. Well, he rolled over, and he fell out. There was one in the bed, and the little one said, I'm lonesome. Hush, puppy, I think at your party today you ought to play Stink Pink. <gasps> what? Sherry, colors don't smell. I never said colors smell. Yes, you did. You said pink stinked. I didn't say pink stinked. I said you should play Stink Pink. What is it? It's a game. How do you play? You have to find two words that rhyme to make up the answer. The answer to what? The answer to the question. What question? The question in the game Stink Pink. Oh, give me an example. Oh, all right. Do you know how to play Stink Pink? If you don't know how to, even if you do know how, I'm going to tell Hush Puppy how to play Stink Pink, and you can find out, too. All right, go ahead. All right. Um, here's a Stink Pink. This is a nice one. If you have an animal that you care for, talk to me. Okay, you can listen. If you have an animal that you care for, and that animal goes out in the rain, what do you have? Give her the answer. Do you know the answer? No, you have to figure it out. Okay, if you have an animal that you care for, what have you got? A pet. A pet. Good. Did you get that? Okay. And if somebody goes out in the rain, what do they get? The right. Wet pet. That rhymes. That's a stink pink. Wet pet. Okay, give me another one. Okay, another one. Um, what is a silly rabbit? Do you know? Come on, I'm asking you. What is a silly rabbit? Bugs Bunny. <laughs> you're close. I'm close to Bugs Bunny? No, you're close to the answer. Okay, what is another word for a rabbit? A bunny. A bunny. Okay, what is another word for silly? Funny. Funny bunny! Funny bunny, that's a stink pink. You've got it, you've got it. I think I got one. Do you have one? No, I got one. All right, do it. What is a building that mice live in? It's a mouse house. Hey, you must be smarter than you look. Thank you very much. Uh, here's one more. That's all, just one more, and then you're going to have to make up your own. I will, I will. All right. If you stand in honey, what do you get? Sticky feet. Yeah, well, sure you get... The feet part is right. The whole thing is right. No, no, no. It's not a stink pink. What do you get if you um, stand in honey and then you eat your feet? Sherry, only babies eat their feet. <laughs> yeah, but if you stand in honey, your feet will taste sweet. Sweet feet! Sweet feet! I got it, I got it! Sherry, 
Yes, Lamb Chop. Sherry, I would like to bake a cake for Hush Puppy's party, but I don't know how to do it. Where do I find out how to bake a cake? You look in a stink pink. What's he say? Uh, what kind of a book would teach you how to bake a cake? A cookbook. That's a stink pink. I don't understand. A stink pink is a dumb rhyme. Yeah. If it was a smart rhyme, that would be a think pink. And if it was a rhyme you could skate on, it would be a rink pink. And if it was a rhyme you could write with, it would be an ink pink. That's enough stuff. I think we're finished, pal. Or, as they say in stink pink, this, this is, is the, the end, end, friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they call this a lop-eared rabbit. I mean, I always thought it was a flop-eared rabbit, didn't you? But it's not. It's a lop-eared rabbit, and it's because its ears lop down. They don't stand up like a regular bunny rabbit. These don't grow in the wild like this. They're bred. They're domesticated is the big word, and it means that they're grown to be pets. Just like this with floppy, loppy ears. I always thought that rabbits were rodents. They're not. Did you know that? You know what they are. <laughs> they're lagomorphs. You want to say that? Say it once. Lagomorph. Is that weird? You probably never come up in the conversation, but the people from the San Diego Zoo who own this lagomorph told me that um, it's a lagomorph. I love it. Shall we do a song or play a game with the rabbit? What do you think, Amanda? Yeah. Yeah. Just to welcome it. Just, yo, have you got any idea what song or game we ought to do? Little Peter Rabbit? You want to do Little Peter Rabbit? All right, how about you? Do you want to do Little Peter Rabbit? Say yes. Okay, good. Um, here's how you do it. You say little. Everybody show me little. Little. Peter Rabbit. Make rabbit ears. You don't make loppy ears. I don't think our fingers can do that. Make stick-up ears like a regular rabbit. And little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon its hand. And you know what he did? He flicked it. Let me see you flick it. Come on. Flicked it. And it flew away. Okay. Let's sing the song first. And then we'll play the game together. All right? All right? Instead of saying the word rabbit, we're going to say little Peter, uh-uh, had a fly upon his hand. Can you do that? Let's do it. Little Peter, uh-uh, had a fly upon his hand. See if you can you remember that? Uh-huh. No, not uh-uh. Uh-huh. Here we go. Everybody. Little Peter, uh-uh, had a fly upon his hand. Little Peter, uh-uh, had a fly upon his hand. We're going to leave out the word fly. So we'll say, little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his hand. An uh. Here we go. Little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his hand. Little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his hand. Little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his hand. And he flicked it, and it flew away. Okay. Now... We're not going to say the word hand. We're going to say little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his uh. Can you do that? Uh, uh. Little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his uh. Little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his uh. Little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his uh. Little Peter, uh-uh, had an uh upon his uh. And he flicked it and it flew away. Okay. Now, we're not going to say he flicked it. We're going to say he... Upped him. He upped him. All right. You remember all that? Little Peter uh -uh, had an uh -uh upon his uh -uh. Little Peter uh -uh had an uh -uh upon his uh -uh. Little Peter uh -uh had an uh -uh upon his uh -uh. and he upped it and it flew away. Okay. 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 Oh yeah. All right. I like it. I like it. Everyone likes music We love to sing and dance It's fun to play in an orchestra 
But we don't all get the chance So I have got the answer Yes, I have got the plan We can make our music here With our kitchen band Take a couple of spoons The rhythm will rock the room Bang them a couple of times And pretty soon you'll find you're making music And now you'll understand There's nothing to it Do it Start a kitchen band Find a spoon and rub a strainer Now you're an entertainer Move it up and down You'll make a scratchy sound Now hear the beat And you can clap your hands You'll swing and sway as you play In our kitchen band Everybody's singing We're so proud of ourselves We've invented instruments That came from kitchen shelves And we'll keep on playing Like we're the finest in the land And you can clap and dance along To our kitchen band Find the lid of a pot Make sure it isn't hot Pick up another Crash them again And when you've got your symbols Right from the pots and pans You're making rhythm with them It's a kitchen band Take a funnel and hum A melody that's fun It's easy to do Play it like an old kazoo You're making music With a funnel in your hand No peace and quiet Try it Start a kitchen band Listen to the music Made by the girls and boys Using kitchen stuff That's enough to make the sweetest noise Hey, we're playing And each one lends a hand Don't just view it Do it Start a kitchen band Listen to the music Made by the girls and boys Using kitchen stuff That's enough to make the sweetest noise Hey, we're playing And each one lends a hand Don't just view it, do it Start a kitchen band Listen to the music Made by the girls and boys Using kitchen stuff That's enough to make the This is the game of opposites. It's easy to play. You give me the opposite of everything I say. For instance, if I say dumb, you say smart. And if I say end, you say start. And she did. What's the opposite of left? Right! What's the opposite of day? Night! What's the opposite of fast? Slow! What's the opposite of stop? Go! What's the opposite of quiet? Noise! What's the opposite of girls? Boys! What's the opposite of black? White! Wrong! Right! What's the opposite of short? Tall! What's the opposite of big? Small! What's the opposite of good? Bad! What's the opposite of happy? Sad! What's the opposite of baby? Grown up! Up! Down! What's the opposite of enemy? Friend! What's the opposite of the beginning? The end! What's the opposite of in? Out! What's the opposite of whisper? Shout! What's the opposite of young? Old! What's the opposite of hot? Cold! What's the opposite of high? No! What's the opposite of yes? No! What's the opposite of heavy? Light! Wrong! Right! What's the opposite of dirty? Clean! 
What's the opposite of king? Queen! What's the opposite of woman? Man! What's the opposite of can't? Can! What's the opposite of something? Nothing! Difficult! Easy! What's the opposite of stranger? Friend! What's the opposite of the beginning? The end! And this is it. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that does it. How do I turn you off? Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Okay, Some okay. I get the joke. It, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever. I can't just believe you guys. This is the song oh, oh, that oh. does it. Okay, yes, I've it had it. That's it. That's it. Friend. What are you doing? Some people no, no, this, no, no, no. This is the last time, right? This is it. This, this is it. This is it. This is not fun. Okay, if you guys are going to keep that up, no people far, far away. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Keep on going. Woo, look. This is the song that... Charlie, horse! No, no, stop, stop, stop. Charlie, stop. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. <laughs>